going on everyone? This is Mama Meepoy coming at you with the Heroes of the Storm video because I happen to be on this new map, Braxis Holdout, which is a two-lane map with some awesome music. Wow. Uh, so I'm, we're gonna say hello to the team and head out there. So it looks like... Well, this is definitely a StarCraft themed map and it looks like we've got Abathur and Lee Ming top lane with Vala, Butcher, and me as Alarak again on bottom lane. Oh, predictable. Did I pick my talent? I just wasn't aware, I know. Thought I had that, thought I had that. Protoss, Protoss power. I think that's a healing fountain. Yep. So it looks like the objective on this map is there are these little, like, beacons that you have to be standing on, sort of like a, like a dragon shrine. Um, and as long as you're standing in them, the zerg pens are filling. And then at the end, I think the zerg pens, like, release, and you get the zerg pushing in whichever lane. your side. I don't know if it's the stronger lane, like on Battlefield of Eternity, or if it's, um... The, uh... Which lane is it? Uh, the, 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 there's like a particular lane, you know, like in Haunted Mines. For those of you who don't remember Haunted Mines, it was a, uh... There it is right there. Telekinesis should be useful. The beacons are energizing. You have to control them. Telekinesis so should be useful for uh, revealing their tool here. The beacons have activated. So we're gonna move in there and control these beacons to get some Zerg spawning. So do I have to be standing on it to control it? No, I do not. This is a little bit like Dragonshire. Uh, shouldn't have won that fight. There was an Avatar hat there, but I really thought Vala would come in and help. But I guess she's a bit late to the party there. So we're gonna pick Double Cross again. So I just that talent's great. So I'm gonna ping my team, tell them I'm on the way to this beacon to help out there, because it definitely needs the help. And Abathur's gonna mine it up. How about that? So So they have one guy dead, so I'm thinking I'm going to move down to the bottom to get that beacon. Onward. So yeah, we're just gonna be landing right here. This map is kinda hectic. We have a lot of Zerg. We have a hundred percent Zerg. I don't I'm not really sure how that works. Oh yeah, look at these Zerg. So I'm gonna push with with all these great Zerg. They're gonna freaking wreck. Zeratul is right there. Gotta be careful. Uh, 
this is powerful. This is a powerful objective. Get everything. Dodge the orb. Anything? Take down the portal. An expected outcome. Uh, we're pretty low on health, so I'm just gonna focus on getting a regen globe and probably just hiding in the Zerg so Zeratul can't really mess with me quite so well. I'm gonna have to go back and uh, get... I have 9 seconds on Healing Fountain, so I'm gonna head back there. Fine. In 5 seconds I'll be able to have it come back up. Because the Zerg are still very healthy, so I'm gonna go back there and assist. to kill me with a telekinesis. Still got one Zerg alive, but I'm not sure how much we'll be able to do with that one. Okay, I'm gonna get out now. Mmm, delish. So I think Butcher and I, now that that was objective, we're gonna rotate to this bruiser camp and see if we can't cap it. It looks like it follows much the same pattern of the uh, other uh, bruisers on other maps. The three knights and one damage dealing lower health wizard. So I'm going to take this and then actually hearth because I just have no way of I must leave and I blame this failure upon you. <laughs> oh my god, these fights are so great. So now that we're healed up, we're going to head up top hopefully. Oh, they made did they make that bigger and I just wasn't aware of the icon on the map. Anyway, we're gonna head up top and defend because it looks like there's a sizable force coming in there. Gonna pick deadly charge as our ultimate. Uh, I think we can get a good telekinesis in Bala. That was meant to be a lightning surge. So we have ultimates, so we can definitely engage right now. Uh, follow up with Butcher. Uh, unfortunately, I failed mechanically in several ways that caused me not to secure kills that I should have. So, there's the rub, as they say. Is that it? I wouldn't know. I'm gonna come help say, take the siege camp maybe just a little bit faster. Push Zeratul away. So I'm going to tell my team that I'm on the way to that beacon. We're fairly far out, so we can uh, rotate through here fairly safely. Oh, I thought you could walk through there, but I guess not. The boss is very cool. It's like a... Uh, can't see it right. Oh gosh, that's yeah. Oh, that was an ultimate evolution. How could I not tell? Butcher, clean up. Clean up with Abathur, yeah. Oh damn, is he gonna get tricked out? Oh yes! Your High Lord has returned. I'm on the way back to the beacon, so I'm gonna let my team know that. Um, but it looks like Vala is pursuing Alarak, who's trying to contest. So let's go kill him, because uh, it looks like Vala's actually having some issues, some trouble.
So we're gonna. This is an this is an unsafe rotation. Absolute. I'm just gonna poke. Bala, come here. That that was poor play from me. Very poor, because I'm gonna die. For sure. Let's just hope Zeratul doesn't find me. I think I'm gonna reduce my sadism just a bit more to get uh a longer silence because Zeratul's have been making me uncomfortable all game. I haven't had to play as Zeratul or against Zeratul with Alarak before. Can we secure that kill? Maybe. Huh? Oh, there's a beacon captured down there. Gonna head down. It looks like Li Ming died. Gonna ping for assistance too to let my team know that I don't want to go in alone. Kill Vala easily, even though I know Zeratul's there, I think I can take it. Especially with an Abathur hat. My decrees are absolute. <sighs> My decrees are ac absolute. Have you observed to deal with our enemy? That's some small comfort at least. So it looks like the Zerg are pushing top now. I'm gonna I don't have the best wave clear. Does this hurt? I hope that hurts, um... Because I had imagined it could be a good wave clear. So now that we're done dealing with the enemy Zerg, I'm gonna rotate top to help out our ally Zerg, which look like they're having some trouble. So what do we got here? I don't play StarCraft, but I think I know those are Ultralisks. We've got... Whatever those things are. Overlords? Are they Overlords? That guitar music, I'm loving it. Love it at. So it looks like we can probably go in on uh, Vala here. Come on, Vala, bait, bait. Oh, that's Zeratul. That is Zeratul. Silence secures the kill, though. After we die. So I'm gonna get uh, sustaining power because I don't want to compromise any more sadism. Uh, because eventually I am going to get, I think, hasty bargain is what I've been going with. That's a very strong talent, and I'm kind of underwhelmed by... I don't know, Counter-Strike would give me protection uh, for a short amount of time that I think I could use if Zeratul comes in on me. Because if I engage Zeratul on my terms, I win easily. But if Zeratul engages me on his terms, that's the, kind of the idea of Zeratul, really, is uh, he fails in a lot of ways that I think other assassins can improve, but he always engages on his own terms most of the time. So, uh, we are a talent tier ahead, um, so we'll see if we even get to level 20. These Zerg are doing work. There's Zeratul right there. Right there now. I'll tell my team that I'm on the way to back them up uh, on their retreat. Zerg threat eliminated. Oh, thank goodness. We live another day. So I'm thinking we grab this mercenary camp. Find these mercenaries what are these? Are these, uh... Oh, that's right, they're... What are they called? Fire bats. How did Abathur die? Go and tell the others of the victory I have won here. I think we can take this, uh... If I have help. Uh, take it safely, is what I mean. Zeratul knows to teleport, I see, out of the... Wow, this music is... I love this map. It's like they made Haunted Mines work. <laughs> I 
because because haunted mines used to not work. So we're gonna head down here and clear those uh, mercs out, and I'm mostly in it for the healing fountain because I don't feel like hearthing right now. Oh hey, there's Alarak. I think we can. We're uh, we're ahead. We're a talent tier ahead. I think we can get a kill. Um, Abathur seems like he wants to. I also really like the announcer uh, thing they've got going on. I agree with this decision. Make haste toward the beacons. They're up and running. <laughs> Take that ultimate evolution. <laughs> now we're gonna rotate up top to uh, really show them who's boss. Spoiler alert, it's me. Lee Ming, you should have you should have stayed at home. I'm going. I'm in there. Yeah, Butcher's in there first though. My decrees are absolute. I think we can take boss. Let's see. Let's find out. We know where Zeratul is. Got Zergen coming and we're taking the boss. This is great. This is gonna hopefully be game. Where's the boss headed? The boss is headed uh bottom uh with our Zerg, so let's uh push for core. Pinged too much. Yeah, we can definitely push core right here. Easy peasy. That's how we do it. I'm gonna pick Counter Strike just for funsies. <laughs> GG. Well played. That was a great game. I was wow. I love that map. Like I hated Haunted Mines so much, and then it went out of rotation, and now I'm like, awesome. Nice. Music is making me boogie. I was not on there. I was just butcher, but worse. That's a, that's sad. I'm surprised it measures the uh, objective capability by damage dealt to Zerg rather than um. The, uh, like how many times you capture the point. Anyway, so we had applied force for telekinesis, which I feel like is almost necessary at level one. Double cross at four. Chaos reigns is standard Q with a dissonance to help us deal with Zeratul to compromise a bit more sadism. Deadly charges standard for me at ten, and the sustaining power also standard at sixteen when I don't want to spend sadism for generally what is a stronger and redundant telekinesis. And then at count level twenty, I picked Counter Strike, but it wasn't a big deal because we ended that game fairly fast. Anyway, uh, that was a great game, great new map, I definitely recommend che checking it out. Also trying out Alarak, he's a total blast to play. I hope you have a great day, hell, I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you next time in the Nexus. This is Mama Meat Boy, signing off.